actually it's still night we have reached the kesari airport um the flight was delayed by half an hour and we are just waiting outside the airport so that uh, one of them can come and pick us up and we will be heading directly to Cappadocia and we have our hot air balloon planned for the day so excited okay let's go and it's pretty chill here so uh, probably it's because uh, it's still midnight so let's see how it goes come with us and enjoy while we tick off one from our bucket list We had to reach the Sinner Hotel which is in the town of Joram in the historic Cappadocia region. This was 84 kilometers away from the Kesari airport but was a beautiful hotel. So we just quickly refreshed ourselves and uh, we started off for a beautiful hot air balloon journey. Cappadocia might be the only place in the world where hundreds of balloons fly nearly every single morning giving over 2000 people a day the experience of a lifetime. Up to 100 balloons are allowed to take off before sunrise and another 50 are granted permission to take off half an hour after sunrise. We obviously chose the one before sunrise and we chose Sultan balloons for the ride. In this video I will be showing you how the entire process of setting up the balloon is done and that itself was one great experience to witness. The balloon or envelope is a fabric bag made of strong light nylon with an opening at one end called the mouth. The envelope is laid out on the ground before a flight and partially inflated with cold air from high powered fans before the air is heated with the burners to create lift required. Passenger carrying balloons range in size from those holding 77000 cubic feet of air to 600000 cubic feet. Most balloons have a vent at the top and at the sides so that the pilot can let out air or rotate the balloon by pulling certain ropes as required. While our balloon was getting set up, we could witness some other balloons already up in the air. All the passengers were also given some refreshments to ensure we are not empty stomach before the flight.
Finally, the hot air balloons work because hot air rises. By heating the air inside the balloon with the burner, it becomes lighter than the cooler air on the outside. This causes the balloon to float upwards as if it were in water. And then slowly all the passengers are asked to get onto the basket one by one, ensuring the weight is evenly placed inside the basket. These hot air balloons are not really cheap so um, depending on which company you go with and how many people are in the basket the cost can vary. You can even book uh, the entire balloon to yourselves for the bargain price but the prices tend to be fixed since the demand is so high so don't expect any discounts. Okay hello good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Sefa. I am your pilot today. I explain your landing position. When I say landing position, I look this way. The rope side is the my way. You all turn the other way. Okay. Landing time. I look this way. You look the other way. Okay. Now everybody turn the other side, please turn. And inside there is a black rope here. There is a black rope here. You see? Yeah. Here. You hold with two hands, little bit down and back side. This is the landing position, okay, like this. Okay. You see? <laughs> and with all the safety precautions described, we were all set for the ride. Just look at how the balloon rises from the ground. The first commercial passenger balloon in Turkey was operated by Lars Erik Mohr and Kylie Kidner in 1991. Since then, more than 25 companies and 200 hot air balloons have been registered to operate Cappadocia balloon tours. The hot air balloon industry in Cappadocia has only truly blossomed in recent years thanks to the extremely favorable conditions in the region, the proliferation of instant media like Instagram, Snapchat and TikTok and increased accessibility of travel. Hot air ballooning in Cappadocia is incredible not only because of the unique and rugged landscape but also because the hundreds of balloons that fly approximately 250 days a year compared to about 60 days elsewhere. Not only can you soar above the terrain in summer and spring but you can also explore the winter wonderland covered in a blanket of snow from above during the winters of course. The best time of the year to go hot air ballooning in Cappadocia is from April to November as the most favorable weather conditions are during these months. Because of strong winds, most of the flight cancellations typically take place from December to March.
this has to be the best sunrise i have ever witnessed in my entire life and everybody who has taken this ride would acknowledge this too what a sight what a beauty i was just spellbound though there are a myriad of measures in place to ensure your safety hot air ballooning in cappadocia still involves some level of risk Make sure you choose an experienced balloon company with seasoned pilots for Cappadocia hot air balloons that values passenger safety above anything else. If you are petrified about heights or if you do not want to spend so much in a balloon ride then watching the balloons in cappadocia from one of the view points is also a magical experience in and of itself and don't overlook what the region has to offer beyond ballooning The entire activity takes about 2 and a half to 3 hours but the flight is for about 60 minutes. The balloons can fly anywhere from about tree level to 3000 feet above ground. Experienced pilots can even take you right down into valleys full of fairy chimney, rock formations and jorim town. The balloons can also travel very fast depending on the wind, reaching speeds of anywhere from 2 to 22 kilometers per hour. You can also find some amazing professional photographers who capture those moments that you see on Instagram in plenty. And yes, finally we have completed the flight and are all set to land. that was not it we also had a traditional champagne party after the flight Hello. 
You also can tip the organizers if you wish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then it was time for some amazing breakfast at our hotel before we head out for uh, the rest of the Cappadocia tour and to top it off we had some amazing Turkish coffee as well. Day tours are one of the best ways to check out Cappadocia's famous tourist sites. These tours come in three different colors, red, green and blue and take you to different parts of the Cappadocia region. The red tour is one of the most popular tours in Cappadocia followed by green and then blue. We took the red tour in which the first place that we visited was Jorem Open Air Museum. This place has amazing rock formations, amazing churches and a beautiful park. It's a unique, beautiful park with amazing rock formation and a complex of churches cut into volcanic rock during the Middle Ages, some of which are decorated with amazing frescoes. Church of Buckle, Church of Apple, Church of St. Barbara, Snake Church, Dark Church and the church with sandals are few to name. Regretfully, Churches with the best preserved frescoes do not allow taking photographs. That part is really nice with the rich Purana for photographs. Uh, before you take photographs, when you look at this part of the museum now, the first one is a stable. When you get it, you will see the big holes on the wall for feeding the animals for food. And you will see the little ones to tie the animals there. And when you get inside the stable on the left, there are some steps to walk up to the second floor. In the second floor, the second one is a kitchen with a chimney of the kitchen. And in the middle of the room, you will see the tandoori, which means oven to cook some things. And the third one is a dining room with a stone table. Generally, all these tours will have a good guide who will take you through the entire place and give you much detailed information about each location. Next, we were off to the beautiful Love Valley. Here you have some great viewpoints and also some photo spots for those amazing Instagram pictures. You can also chill at the beautiful cafes here. So that's the Rose Valley. It's got its name from its color. And this is another valley. Love Valley. No, no, Love Valley is this. This one and this one. So there is one more valley here. I'll tell you the name later. But here is the viewpoint where we can see all the three valleys together. Chocolate. Chocolate. Large, big. Small. Small, right? Okay. Chocolate! Only chocolate! Two more, okay? Okay, lady. Bye-bye! Okay, lady. Bye-bye! Okay? Okay, bye-bye! Thank you. Thank you. We then stopped over for some authentic Turkish lunch and enjoyed every bit of it.
After that amazing lunch, we reached the ceramic center where we were shown a live demonstration of pottery and also the ceramic design making sessions as well. We thoroughly enjoyed this aspect of the tour too. Hi. Hey, Turkish tea and Turkish coffee. So which one would you prefer? Tea. Coffee. Okay. <clears throat> so in Avanos, in this town, uh, pottery making is a family tradition passing down from father to son. As one of the oldest families in this region, uh, this family has been carrying on this tradition for six generations. It was really astonishing to see that most of the designs here were all handmade. Then we stopped by at the Devrant Valley or the Imagination Valley which is home to interesting fairy chimney formations. This valley has a chimney that looks like a camel and many other fairy chimneys that look resemble animal or human figures which is up to the visitor's imagination. The next stop was at Pasabag Valley or the Monks Valley and here it features an incredible diverse landscape different to anywhere else. Apart from the diverse landscapes, here you also get to buy a lot of beautiful artifacts from Cappadocia and there's a lot of choices to choose from. Now here is a quick room tour before we crashed for the day. The next day morning it was the sunrise again and we were up to view the hot air balloons once again this time from the comfort of our hotels. It was indeed a beautiful sight once again and just out of a dream. We tried to capture a few time lapse videos and here they are for you to watch and enjoy. This is our view from the hotel, Sinair Hotel in Cappadocia. It is very affordable but with great views and great hospitality. Looking at the balloons fly in the early morning itself is so beautiful. If you 
really don't want to give it a shot riding in the balloon please do visit Kapodesha just to view them and to take some amazing pictures we have a time lapse on we will definitely show you how that looks and we have a lot of amazing pictures as well do check out our insta handle so after this we are flying back from Keshari to Istanbul and then back to Dubai so until we meet next time in a new vlog in a new country probably or maybe some more explorations in Dubai do follow and like and subscribe to our channel until we meet next time bye bye see you take care and ma salama